Introduction The oil and gas industry is well known for its boom and bust cycle. As the wells peter out, demand continues to rise, ensuring the next boom. In 2008, prices collapsed from well over $100 per barrel to as low as $30, only to resume the climb to $100 per barrel again by 2014, as demand grew to 95 million barrels per day. But now, the global oil and gas industry is truly at a crossroads. For the first time in many decades, the confluence of a number of forces is flattening out the growth in petroleum, particularly for transportation. Rapidly advancing alternatives in drivetrain technology, including hybrid and electric motors, dramatically better renewable energy sources and battery technologies, shifting consumer preferences towards shared vehicles, and a global movement to decarbonize look poised to exert unrelenting downward pressure. These changes vary immensely from country to country, with some smaller European nations aiming to fully eliminate fossil fuels from their power mix. China has explicitly set out in its latest five-year plan its intent to be a global leader in renewable energy, battery technology, and new transportation technologies, while still presenting a strong growth prospect for petroleum consumption. Other large nations, such as India, also provide ample opportunity for growth. For many oil producers, the standard playbook for managing the down cycle of the commodity market has run its course. Procurement teams have mercilessly squeezed the supply chain and extracted painful price concessions. Management teams have high-graded capital budgets and now only chase the best opportunities. Several hundred thousand jobs have been eliminated from the industry, mostly from the ranks of the service companies and engineering firms. Bankruptcies have peaked, and boards have replaced their CEOs. Cost reduction efforts have now brought the industry to a level of profitability that exceeds the level when oil prices peaked in 2014. Royal Dutch Shell's reported 2018 first quarter results show the company making as much profit at $60 per barrel as it did when oil was $100 per barrel. Goldman Sachs also reported in early 2017 that European oil companies generated the same amount of cash at $52 per barrel as they did at $109. Meanwhile, actual and potential supplies of hydrocarbons are rising at a remarkable rate. The industry has successfully adopted technological innovations that have caused a permanent swing from peak oil to superabundance. In response, many global producers in 2015 and 2016 set out to maximize their production to maintain market share. Prices have dropped from historic highs of more than $100 per barrel to record lows of $28 only to slowly climb back up. As I write this passage in mid-2018, the price of oil is still just $67 per barrel. 